Welcome back once again. This video starts with collecting cards because why not? It's nice, it's only an activity I do when it's very late at night and I'm too lazy to farm. So I just go around collecting cards, just saying to myself, okay, you're gonna you're gonna get all the familiars, all the cards, you're gonna get more badges and stuff like that. Obviously it's not the same, but as you can see I'm doing this the mush the mushroom kingdom and I'm also getting the hard familiars, the boss of this place, it took me quite a bit of time to actually get. Just went in and out of the boss and I have to say his room is actually very interesting. After we got him, it was just sleepy wood. I wanted to knock off all the Victoria Island ones. There are some very special familiars it's hard to get. Like you have to get some like petrifying, not familiars, I mean monster card. Like petrifying or hearty, which means you need like a specific elite monster to kill it a couple of times until you you get the card and it's very rare. Another card would, it was extremely hard to get was the Junior Balrog one but I eventually got it. Took me quite a few tries. Then it was over to Dark Tree because I was already there. After I finished that I just started doing the alchemy because I've been told I should get ready for the 20% mesos and 20% drop rate and whatever the potions you can make. So I just started doing alchemy it was fun. I started doing the, the tutorial you have to do. You go into this map, you just collect some stuff, whatever they tell you to do. The annoying thing is it's, it doesn't stack, so it's like on different ETC slots, which is annoying. Then just read some random stuff and started just farming for materials. Obviously just I bought another thing on the, on the second screen and just started farming. After the farming I went to craft all the stuff, but I don't feel like you get the, a good amount of stuff for the amount of work that you do. I don't know, I feel like I got a little, like too little to increase my level. I might actually check a guide at some point, but I think I'm just, I can just... While I'm training, I can do the, the golden flower, or golden like the red heart for the mining thing. And use those materials to actually slowly level up the stuff. As well as also every time I'm doing root abyss I can get the level up coupons from there which is quite nice I get it quite a bit at this it was time to level up my main once again monster park for the win you know it's a great place to level up I wanted to hit 260 for like questing and six jobs and stuff like that so I just stayed at this map for a very long time and I have to say farming with luminous is extremely easy I just AFK go left reflection right reflection and then like once in a few minutes I just go around collecting the gold and the left top monsters and whatnot extremely easy now it was time to make my kinesis because I wanted to get all the mages done to gain more int and stuff like that for my luminous so I just started hitting them up one by one and I'm not gonna bother showing you everything so here's just the kinesis <laughs> leveling up up to level 120 obviously the regular stuff I went to I'm just gonna show you the birds and you know the flying skirts until level 120 not much to show, to show over there during my watching while you're training I was watching quite a few maple story videos because I'm returning a player so I know a bit but I don't know about the new stuff so after checking those videos, I find Juki, which is an amazing maple like guide YouTube person. He's like the Jordan Peterson of maple. Fundamentally, what you're trying to do is to set up the legion so that it facilitates the bosses you intend to pursue there. After that, it was back to training because I need to hit 260 to start farming the circuit power and stuff like that. I have a lot of symbols, sacred symbols, coupons in my inventory I want to use before they expire so I'm gonna hit 260 as fast as possible again this map is extremely easy I don't even need to use the, fo or the fountain I just go left and right left and right left and right I love luminous so much while I was training I was trying to get some familiars done but it was kind of pointless I need to farm them specifically with drop rate I didn't get much stuff I just got some random like recover by a small amount recover for your party by a small amount stuff like that nothing too crazy I was getting bored of leveling so obviously I went to collect collecting cards again but this time I did the familiars 
for the badges and I gained like 2% maybe attack, m magic attack, but it was worth it. I mean, why not? It was very simple. I had most of the cards because I already did a lot of questing in here. So just a few more left and then I gained two badges for Moonbridge and for the Labyrinth. By then it was actual time for me to hit level 260. So here we go. Level 260. Now I was farming for the sixth job. Obviously it's taking a lot of time. You need like I think nine to stone in total, which each one needs 50 billion XP. But I'm not gonna explain it here. I did it off stream. I'm gonna make a separate video about the lore and about the fixed job itself. I mean, not skills because I don't have anything upgraded just yet. As I promised, Juki actually made me <laughs> do more Legion stuff. So I made Lara, which is a very interesting character. I never knew this one. I, I thought it was a new character and it was a mage, so I said, hey, Int, why not? But. It has some interesting potential, I have to say. Just annoying that you have to move all the time like crazy to open up all the portals or close them or use skills on them. This one is just basically the same, you know, do the, all the 10 to 100 and then you do go farming here until you're like level, what, 110 maybe? Until you feel sure. Then you just go on the farm with the flying skirts. You know, 120, 100 something. I didn't notice the time, so I leveled to 123. But hey, why not? Maybe in the future, if I want to level it higher, then you know, it's almost done. I also got a wild hunter, which I made like in the past, in a very long past, I made wild hunter, and I have to say, I like it. But I'm just showing you, hey, 146. After that, it was obviously like 6 7 a.m., so the new event came out, and I checked it, and I have to say, you get crazy XP. I gained like, I don't know, maybe 13%, 10%, something like that. Crazy, close to leveling up. And that's it for this episode. Now I have to say, episodes are gonna be more spaced out as time goes on, because I'm not gonna show you the same hunting grounds again and again and again on every character. I'm not gonna show you how I level up every character to level 120 or maybe 141 for the Legion like the future. I'm not gonna do that. I'm just gonna show you like now, hey, this character is created. It's level 120, when something, if something special happened or new like training ground, I'm gonna show you. But if not, it's just gonna stay the same. So there's not much to show you. But that's about it. I'm gonna continue mostly doing the streaming in the weekly showcases. This series is gonna be maybe once a week depending on how much I get during the week. If it's going to be a, a farming week, there's nothing I can show you. I won't show you like, hey, that's me farming for 60, 80 hours of this week. Nobody wants to watch that. And that's basically it. So I hope you enjoyed this one. If you did, thank you. If you didn't, it wasted like a few minutes. No big deal. Keep it safe. I'll see you in the next one. Bye. -bye.